Chances are you know someone affected by a degenerative disease, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, rheumatoid arthritis, or type 1 diabetes. Degenerative diseases cause up to half of adult deaths in developed nations. These diseases are generally caused by the loss or dysfunction of a specific cell type in the body. To treat such diseases, regenerative medicine seeks to use human embryonic stem cells, which can generate any cell type in the body, to produce the missing cell type in a dish and return them to the patient. However, because embryonic stem cells can generate over a thousand different types of cells, it is challenging to direct an embryonic stem cell to become one and only one type of differentiated cell. Indeed, stem cell differentiation has been hard to control. Experiments attempting to produce a specific cell type from an embryonic stem cell often result in an impure mixture of multiple cell types that have limited practical use. This is because of our incomplete understanding of the exact developmental processes that guide stem cell differentiation. Stem cell differentiation is akin to getting into your car in San Francisco with a vast array of destinations ahead of you and trying to drive across the country specifically to Boston. It would be impossible to get to your destination without a detailed map of the routes in between and the intermediate stops you need to make along the way. To meet this challenge, a group of scientists at Stanford University, the Genome Institute of Singapore and other institutions set out to create a detailed map of the routes through which stem cells develop into multiple desired cell types. They focused on mesoderm, a progenitor responsible for creating bone, heart, muscle and other important tissues. Their findings are published in an article titled A Comprehensive Roadmap from Pluripotency to Human Bone, Heart, and Other Mesodermal Cell Types in the journal Cell in July 2016. When stem cells develop into different cell types, they often face a binary decision point to become cell type A or B, analogous to a fork in the road. At the next decision point, cell type A can decide to differentiate into cell type A1 or A2. To this end, the scientists mapped out the cascade of binary decision points through which human embryonic stem cells progressively matured into 12 different mesodermal cell types, including heart, bone, cartilage, muscle, etc. Given this knowledge of binary decision points, the scientists developed a more accurate approach to differentiate stem cells into specific populations of cell types. At each lineage decision point, the scientists did two things. One, they activated specific pathways that directed cell differentiation along the desired path, and two, they inhibited signals that otherwise would encourage differentiation along the alternate path. By forcing stem cells to follow a specific differentiation path at each decision point, the team was able to create pure populations of a desired cell type. At each step of differentiation, scientists verified cell identity by analyzing gene expression. They confirmed the purity of these cell types using single-cell RNA sequencing. The researchers also identified specific surface markers that were used to isolate different mesodermal cell types, providing a means to provide even purer cell populations. These pure cell populations have the potential to make significant impact to the field of regenerative medicine by providing a replacement for missing cells in degenerative diseases. For instance, researchers successfully produced human bone progenitors that created human bones, and human heart progenitors that could engraft heart tissue in mice. In sum, by mapping the process by which stem cells differentiate into different lineages, the scientists were able to develop a rigorous roadmap of how human bone, heart, and other mesodermal tissues develop from embryonic stem cells. This roadmap could be harnessed to rapidly yield pure populations of different human cell types for regenerative medicine. This work was supported by the California Institute for Regenerative Medicine, the Singapore Agency for Science, Technology and Research, and other sources.